Exercise has been shown to be incredibly useful to improve bone density. Never has the phrase user to lose it been more true uh, than in this case. So weight-bearing exercise, especially when you're younger in life, to build up that initial bone stock is very important. So kids and young adults, it's very important. And in older adults too, it helps decrease um, the rate of bone loss because you're basically putting a force across the bone. It's stimulating the bones to actually maintain uh, a, a certain amount of strength. Tai Chi has been an exercise that has been demonstrated scientifically to improve strength and balance, also shows to help in fall prevention and coordination in elderly patients, and something that is very highly recommended. It's low impact um, and has uh, significant improvements in upper and lower body uh, bone density by doing this. For people that are doing exercise, one of the things that's, uh, that's helpful uh, some guidelines that might seem somewhat counterintuitive, but we'll, we'll talk about it. Certainly, so you don't want to do any crunches or sit-ups. There's other ways that you can do abdominal and core strengthening. But the concern is that if you are osteoporotic, that if you're basically using your spine as a fulcrum, you can actually increase the risk of getting a vertebral fracture by doing that. Similarly, overhead lifting that can, can really uh, put a significant force across your lumbar spine or other extension type exercises. You want to always bend at the hip you know, sort of like a drinking bird rather than bending sort of through the waist and through your low back. Low weight, high repetition is incredibly useful. So less than 10 pounds to be carried out by the hand, 25 pounds close to the chest, and then smooth gliding exercises with smooth rather than jerky motions is, is very helpful. And it's also very reasonable for any people that have arthritis that you don't want to get into a pounding uh, motion that could aggravate any other problems.